got to always learn how to talk to the king in you. I don't care how mad I get. And I had to learn. I learned that in therapy that for me to manifest the man that I wanted in my life, mm-hmm. I had to learn how to always speak to him like the man I wanted in my life, even Ooh. when I'm mad at him. Teach that shit. You know what I'm saying? Say it again. And I had to learn how to speak to the man that I wanted in my life all the time I needed to speak to speak him to as that king. man. Ooh. Right? To where when we Even get when to, he acting like a court jester? Yes. Okay. Even when we get upset with each other, we there are rules. We don't hit below the belt. Like, it's a lot of things that, and a lot of growing that I've done, but we've all got to get to that place. So I saw this video when I was scrolling through social media, and I absolutely wanted to touch on this. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to touch on it is because I feel as though, um, you know, there's a lot of focus on people who be, you know, extremely getting it wrong, right? Like a lot of times we focus on the extremes of women who out here just acting a clear fool, you know, just doing the utmost. And I think that um, there's conversations within conversations that need to be had um, for the women who feel as though, you know, they cook for their man, they clean, you know, they're uh, loyal to him, they're faithful to him. You know, they they do certain things. They follow certain diagrams of of what a woman is supposed to do or or how a woman is supposed to be. But there's also a deeper conversation to that because, you know, a woman who cooks, cleans, uh, is supportive. A woman who is, you know, going out of her way to make sure that, you know, certain things are comfortable in his home space. A woman can do all of the above. She can be beautiful. She could be a lady in the streets, freaking the sheets. She can do all the above. But you see, once that woman does not know how to respect her man, she's lost. She's lost. And I think, again, this is the point of the conversation where there's so many women who, um, you know, They have no problem or they're sitting in spaces that they feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm not the extreme or maybe them, them and their, their spouse will get into an argument or a disagreement and they will say, well, you know, some other women will be breaking up stuff. Some other women will be doing this. But at the end of the day, this, the word disrespect is like an umbrella. There are a lot of things that fall under that umbrella. It can be tone of a tone of voice can be disrespectful. Uh, a smart remark or a witty remark can be disrespectful. It can be the smoothest, softest tone and you can say something and it can be seen, you know, it could be something that you said that's below the belt. It could be the rolling of your eyes, the popping your neck. It can be talking to this person as if you're talking to a child or a dog even. This is something that is going to help women sustain relationships or sustain the sweet spots of their relationship for the long haul it's remembering who you're talking to you have to remember that there are people who have been together for a long time maybe 10 years 15 years who every day they still have to relearn this lesson if if their partner is willing to sit there through the mess and through the disrespect It's so vital. And, you know, it's so interesting because a lot of women, you know, when they go to work or, you know, when they're with their homegirls, they don't forget who they're talking to. When they're at work, when they're on a job, you know, when when they see that man that walk in the office that he's a person that signed a check, oh, they have no problem. They don't care if he's rude to them, if he's nasty, if he's, you know, uh, belittling them they don't care because he's the person that signed the check so i know that regardless of how i feel i'm gonna have to go talk to my homegirl in the break room or go talk to myself about it but i'm going to have to deal with this person accordingly because of how i esteem them that's the problem nowadays is that a lot of women don't have that esteem for their partners they don't have that level of respect for their partners. So they think, you know, they could just move how they want to move, say whatever they want to say. And because I'm cooking and cleaning and because I'm not out here cheating on you or because I'm doing all these things and I have the right to do whatever it is that I want to do and you can't be mad about it. And also you can't challenge me because I'm not as worse as I could be.
this is such a big lesson, like I said, for women, because women love to use their their uh, mouth as combativeness. You know, they love to, to have that thing where they can, you know, out talk you, you raise their voice higher than yours, you know, snap back, have a, uh, you know, say something that's going to hurt your feelings. They're going to say something that really hurt. At the sake of what? Losing your relationship? Okay, you won the argument. All right, cool. You won the argument. Cool. Okay, you had the last word. Awesome. Now you ain't got no man. Now what? <laughs> What's the plan now? What's the game plan? Because now you ain't got no man. You don't want an argument. You don't have the last word. You don't, you know, hit him where it hurts. Now you ain't got no man. Now what you going to do? Most of the time, a, a lot of women who use their mouth in, in their um, relationships, you know, that, combat, that combative and, and rude and disrespectful nature, a lot of women, they don't see the problem. They don't see the problem. And I'm going to use this for an example. You know, like when we watch like, um, you know, reality TV or, uh, you know, certain things, women have this dialogue that they communicate to, their, to each other in a certain way, right? So, no, they don't forget who they're talking to when they're on good tones with their homegirl. But at the same time, when they're not on good terms with their homegirl and they're going at it, they can say anything. And then a woman to a woman will be like, okay, well, I forgive you. I understand. You were just mad. I was just mad too. That's how women communicate with each other. Then they bring that same energy to their relationship. Whereas a woman can say this and say that and then, you know, it just kind of goes wherever and she kind of just forgot about it. She doesn't care about it anymore. Oh, you know, I understand. You were just mad or you understand why I said that, right? I was just mad. I didn't mean it. No, when you're talking to your man, he's going to take every single word that you said verbatim and he's going to write it down and keep it in his pocket. Because he is taking your words because when men say things, more times than not, they are saying things that they mean. So when you are saying something to him, he is taking it that you mean this. So let me go ahead and write this down because she meant what she said. So whether you bruised his ego with what you said, whether you disrespected him to the point of no return with what you said, whether you, you know, caught a little attitude because things weren't going your way, no matter what it is, he's taking note of this situation. And what's unfortunate for a lot of these uh, women out here that think they're all, you know, right and, and, and mighty. Oh, you know, I got a man, not this. And you mistreat him and you disrespect him and you talk to him bad. A lot of you guys are talking or arguing your way out of the relationship. The bragging rights that you have with your homegirl because you actually got a man, you talking your way out of it. You one argument away. You have to learn how to put a lock on your mouth. And it doesn't mean, especially when somebody who grows up with an aggressive nature or uh, aggressive nature, right? Or, you know, even there are some women who grow up with an aggressive way of speaking. And it's not because they're being aggressive. It's just because that's how they communicate. Maybe that's the people that they are around. That's how they communicate. And so it's kind of been this thing that they, they've grown with. They have an even harder time. Because you just said good morning and you already sound aggressive. Imagine if you got a little attitude. But it's something that is necessary to be checked at the door. Checked at the gate. Not every time when you are upset and, and, and you have something at the tip of the tongue, do you need to say it? A lot of women, sometimes they get angry and they start crying, you know, because they're so frustrated. Sometimes you need to just shut up and cry. <laughs> I'm keeping it real, sis. Sometimes you got to just shut up and cry. Just sit in it. If you don't think that you can articulate it properly, maybe you need to write a text message or write it down on a piece of paper. Because sometimes relationships are over and, uh, you know, women, again, they, they talk themselves out of a relationship for something that will not matter in an hour or two, for something that was not that big of a deal. You arguing down. 
for something that literally means nothing. That will you won't even remember that conversation in a month. Maybe even next week. You absolutely have to keep in mind who you're talking to. The way that you articulate yourself to this person because a lot of it's so funny because a lot of women a man can't even look like he's going to say something back to her or, or rude to her in a certain way before she's ready to just go off. But then they're so quick with their mouth because they think that there's no problem. Nobody can't tell me nothing. Nobody can't say anything. How dare you? Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you said this to me. It's all about you. It's all about you and your feelings and what you think and what you feel and what you know. You act like everybody else don't matter. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> But he has feelings too. He has emotions too. And again, women want, you know, the attention, the admiration, the love, the caress, the this, the that. Men want respect. All that other stuff is additives. Bottom line, they want respect. That's how a lot of women can be with a man and they can be the ones that's cooking and cleaning and this and that. I do everything for you. I'm doing all this stuff for you. And then he leave and he go get into a relationship and get married and people, they be shocked. Oh, she don't even know how to cook. She don't even know how to clean. He figured out the rest. She was respectful. <laughs> he figured out all that stuff didn't even matter. She respected him at the utmost. When things weren't going her way, when the conversation wasn't going in a positive manner, she knew how to conduct herself. That's what set her apart. You have all the other qualities, and that's great. But you don't have any self-control. You can't tame your tongue. And I, I, I'm going to say it again. This is what leads to a lot of, you know, one of the biggest, I feel like, demises of a relationship outside of the extremes is just how communication happens on a daily basis how you are communicating to your partner on a daily basis and how you are communicating to your partner when you are upset a lot of people think oh you know so so what you saying i can't get mad or i can't get angry of course are you a human like you're gonna be angry you're two different people who are creating a life together. There's times that you are not going to be on the same page. There's times that you are not going to agree. There's times that you are absolutely going to be upset about a situation. But it's how you articulate that that makes the greatest difference. The greatest difference. I like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.